Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel or just now finding my content thank you guys so much for watching and I encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below because we post EMS videos here every single week and today we're going to be going over the EMS mnemonic elevation. Elevation is a mnemonic that lists other causes or situations in which ST elevation is present but not necessarily caused by a STEMI. The E stands for electrolytes. As we know, calcium, magnesium, potassium, sodium, all of these electrolytes have a big impact on how the heart functions and electrolyte imbalances can actually cause ST elevation. L is for left bundle branch blocks. Bundle branch blocks can present with ST elevation. And another random ST elevation cause is benign early polarization. And this next one, if you're a medic already out in the field, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. V stands for ventricular pacemaker. And if you've ever hooked up a patient and you see immediate ST elevation, sometimes your first question is, do they have a pacemaker? But yeah, your V stands for ventricular pacemaker or ventricular hypertrophy. The A stands for aneurysms and arrhythmias. Believe it or not, aneurysms can cause ST elevation on a 12 lead. The T stands for tumors, trauma, and different types of treatment. The I stands for what we most commonly think of whenever we think of ST elevation, which is the injury. So an acute myocardial infarction, but it also covers a contusion to the heart. And the O stands for Osborne waves. And Osborne waves can be associated with hypothermia and also in cases of hypercalcemia and increased increased intracranial pressure. And the N stands for non-occlusive vasospasm. And there is one that I wanted to mention, which I don't see blatantly in this mnemonic, and it is called pericarditis. Pericarditis on an EKG will cause ST elevation. This mnemonic just basically shows you that there are other reasons for ST elevation out there. And that is why it is so important to get a very good history from your patient. And don't forget, if you are suspecting a STEMI, make sure to look for reciprocal depression. And to never underestimate chest pain in a patient just because they don't have ST elevation. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.